Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Uh, I was already out doing chores. Chores are done. It's a little later in the day. We're half. Uh, it's a if I fall, you're going down with me. <laughs> if I go down, I break. If you go if down, you go down, you're going down. You'll bounce. Oh, at least peeing. Good girl. Anyways, so welcome to today's video. I already did chores. Sophie already did chores. They came out. What'd you come out for? Uh, to get water from here. Oh yeah. So. We have a guy working on our changing copper pipes or changing something in the... Sam has a guy working on something in the house. I never pay attention. <laughs> scary. Scary. We're in another blizzard. We are walking on the ice now. Even the duck and the goose are not out. I saw someone comment that they need water even in winter. And they actually do have water in the winter. They were out today. I was thinking we should put this in the goat area. This is the goat area. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we did chores and Sophie came out with Sam. Our water's turned off because the guy's working on it. So when I went to do chickens, I couldn't fill up their water. So Sam and Sophie went to the barn to fill up water. And Sophie is turning into such a good farm girl. She noticed something that I didn't even notice. I let all the goats out today. You guys know we're expecting goat babies. Soon. Hold the gate. Hold the gate. Because only. <laughs> okay, so. This one, move. Oh. This one said, needs to go in. This one needs to stay in. Okay, alright. Now I throw you, all you away. Go away. Run! Jesus! <laughs> Man! Your timing sucks! We did it! it. We did it. it! Okay, so. Anyway. Not yet. I'm going to show you guys what she noticed. Let's figure it to you. Alright, so. She noticed, wow. So, okay, she noticed that one of our goats' udders doubled in size. Obviously, it's still really tiny. They have five weeks to go. Look at those teats. This is the first real up close and personal look we've actually got. We are gonna have to shave her udder because it just makes it easier for milking. So we're gonna do that soon but probably like in a couple of weeks. But look at that thing. That's our first udder that we grew, <laughs> that we ever grew. But look at how nice our teats are. They're tiny, but they're both pointing in a good direction. Even and nice. I don't know, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Like, look at that. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys is that we have an udder beginning, an udder starting. So, wowzer. I can't believe it. It's huge when you feel it. So it's super exciting for us. This is like the first of many other videos you're going to get to see. Uh, we're going to shave her. Probably not for like another few weeks because it grows back so fast. I don't want to have to like shave her a bunch of times before she gives birth. So we are planning on milking and just shaving just gets rid of like all that hair and stuff. All that loose hair that you have. But I'm super excited that she's so good at letting us handle her and and she'll be awesome at at Milking at being milked. It's exciting I just wanted to tell you guys that I came down this morning by myself with Ellie and was doing some training with her and she is Phenomenal like it's so good. She's learning new things every single day today. I Ellie oh wait. Wait, oh wait. let's see if she'll do it. Ellie oh wait. Oh wait Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here, give her a treat. So right now, Sophie's teaching her a way. And why she's doing it is because when we let the duck and the goose out or we let the goats out, we don't want her in the way. So we and want we her to move away. And when she moves away, she sits and she waits. Oh, and she doesn't move until we tell her to. And she was doing it all morning. So oh, perfectly. Doing it so good. Oh, Good girl. And then when she goes away, she sits and she waits. But also, she was so focused on this training that she wasn't oh. running around the barn like a crazy person. Away. She was sitting beside me waiting for the next... Ellie, away. She was sitting beside me waiting for the next order that I was going to give her. But anyway, we're headed up to the house. I have to eat still. Sophie just came in. We got to do school Ellie, still. Away. But look at our cat. He's using his bed that I made for him. So that's exciting. <laughs> Ellie's like, if you can get up there, I can get up there. Ellie, Ellie get down. Good girl. Uh -oh. Come here, pretty boy. 
He's like, yes, that's just what I like. Treats, thank you very much. He's never <laughs> so the viewers have spoken and they say that Ellie is chunky. <laughs> Ollie. It's not Ollie. Yeah, Ollie. It's not just his, his fur. I told you. He's a bit chunky. All right, so we're gonna go back up to the house and get our school done. Come on, Ellie. <laughs> but there's gonna come a time when one of the first signs that a goat is gonna go into labor is when her udder pops. This goat, her goat, her udder is just starting to grow. It's not popped yet, so we still have a month to go. A little over a month, a month and a few days. Um, so oh definitely, God. it's not popped. But it's growing and it just means like, remember, we didn't do ponies. No, we have to go. I really want to go see the No, ponies. after. We, we're going to come back out after. Oh God, I'm on ice. But anyways, remember, we didn't do ultrasounds to see if our goats were pregnant. So we're not even sure who's pregnant. <laughs> who's pregnant for sure. Ah! Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. We are headed out. We almost saw us crash into the ditch because our car, our car was spinning on the road, we're headed out, it's a blizzard. It was a school day today. Yeah. Maybe it shouldn't have been. It's a blizzard, yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, somebody's literally walking out on the road in an front of us. Woman. An yeah. older woman. Doesn't look both ways. Really old woman, doesn't look both ways, and the roads are so slippery, like, there's another car coming on her side. Hopefully she doesn't get hit because it's hard to stop. But anyway, we're headed out because we have a crazy weekend and it starts tomorrow, like so soon. Early tomorrow, our weekend is starting. Our weekend festivities are starting. It's gonna be a lot of effort, a lot of energy, a lot of stuff. <laughs> so we're gonna go out and get... Oh, and there's cars! Oh. Save us. <laughs> Sam saved us! <laughs> saved us. <laughs> I didn't turn for sure. We were hit we're staying car. home all weekend after this. We're not going out a single solitary time. Basically, we came to an intersection. The car was not going to stop. Did you guys see my double chin when I did that? Um, the car wasn't going to stop and there was a lot of cars coming. So we were either going to go right out into oncoming traffic or Sam quickly turned us to the, turned us and we stayed on the side of the road. Like we could have got hit no matter what. That was scary. Next time you know to stop her. so calm though. Sophie's so quiet. I'm like, ah. Well, because before we were getting hay, we were sliding up and down the hill. So you think you're used to it? But literally, I've been alive so much longer than you, you'd think I'd be used to it. It is not fun. I do not love driving in bad weather. But anyways, it was only our road that's not plowed. The rest of the roads are plowed. So we're running into town. But we have to hurry and we have to get back because Gabby has riding tonight. And I've been getting a couple of comments or questions about Gabby is supposed to try a horse. So she was supposed to try a horse. Um, our trainer arranged for her to try a horse. Um, but now I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know if anything's changed, but she's not taking Storm tonight and she is riding another horse. I think it's the horse that she's supposed to be trying. So I haven't really talked to him in depth about it. I don't know, like, if she's trying a horse and she's gonna, well, she can, if she, if she is trying a horse, she has an option that she can buy it, she can lease it, but there's also an option, I think, that she can ride it in lessons and just see how it goes. Um, and... So I don't know. I don't know exactly what's happening, but we have to hurry up and get back because Gabby has lessons tonight and she's running somebody new and we're going to see what's going to happen. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll keep you guys posted. You'll know by the riding title if she's trying a horse or if she's just going to ride a horse or what's happening. So, so uh, we got to go and get our running around done so that we can start. Actually, I guess our weekend of fun is starting tonight with Gabby's lesson and then we're just going to keep on going for the whole weekend. So, um, We'll see you guys when we get back home. Life is hard. So I tried to put a leash on Ellie today to try her and see if I could get her to stop chasing the dog. And I couldn't find a leash and we had to go down to the barn quickly. I can't find a leash so I tied something else around her that I could use as a leash. And she was freaking out. Like just screeching that we were, and that's her. <laughs> you like can't. She doesn't, anyways, and then she broke free. So I need to try it again. I don't know if it will be something that works. Ellie, Ellie, look, Ellie, look. Come here, sit. Good girl. Oh, shoot, Sophie, you should have waited. All right, she almost did it once. But anyways, so we went to the, do this huge grocery shop and, come on. 
Sam drove and then Sam dropped us off and we're just about to put all the food away and Sam drove by the house and he said did you let the duck and the goose out today and I said no and he said they're wandering around they're so happy oh look at her she's like yes you want a banana you want a banana we brought bananas down come here big guy I don't know how they got out what do you guys think I mean it wouldn't surprise me if they just pushed through that that's big all right, so we brought a bunch of bananas too for the goats and the horses. Oh, oh, she's so cute. You guys, come on. He looks so awesome. I know, he looks so beautiful and elegant. Look, she's coming right back to you, Sophie. So this duck has actually, has actually so bonded with Sophie. She literally is so bonded with her. I can't even get over it. That's a banana for you. Did she see it? Yeah, our animals, other than the horses, nobody else will eat anything. We're literally the treat family and they're like, eh, I don't think so. She's making snowballs out of... Oh, she's eating Did she eat it? These are the most regal pets that we have. You look so elegant over there. Like I see farm videos of ducks and geese and they always just look packing <laughs> Oh <laughs> good girl. Good girl. She was chasing Ellie. They're like the same size. At least the size of a duck. <laughs> Ellie. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Ah, sit. Good girl. I just love them. No. You're not going that way. You're not going that way. Look at how cute they are. Let's go, my I know we have so many groceries to put away. Alright, come out the Just put them in their stall. <laughs> I cleaned it all up fresh for them today. This literally sucks. It actually sucks to have to lock them up in this little area. All right. Because they were raised roaming free. That's what they're used to. That's what they love. All right. Let's see. No, no, no. You're fat. You're fatty. 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 <laughs> Sophie. The boys will eat anything. Boca boca. Aww. She's like, I don't like it. Hey, don't eat my camera. No one wants more except for the gold. Man, you're a cute boy. You want some? He's like, yep. I think Mocha wants to try it. Mocha tries to try it. But the other goats go near her and it makes her nervous. Come on, eat it, it's good. Okay, so look on this side, there's wire. Oh, down at the end there, they could get out. But for the most part, they can't get out that one. This one, the holes are big. A duck and a goose could easily fit through there. Okay. What were we thinking? Well, I mean, Ellie fits through there. Do you see duck and goose prints along there? No, no you do not. Yeah, no. look all Wait, over here. No, that's the hog. All right. <laughs> we don't know, but Sam will be down here fixing it. Yeah, she's actually listening to me for the first oh. time. Ellie, <laughs> chase that dog, and you're in trouble, Missy. Our neighbors are probably like, "Who in the heck is Ellie?" Because that's all I scream out here. I saw a TikTok. Hi, princess. Oh.